I moved to the UK at the age of 12 right. without my own family and I went to boarding school. And you do not expect at any point for someone to say, well, actually, we're going to deport you. you you know, I had indefinite leave to remain. You, you feel British. You think British. There's no part of you that thinks that you're going to get deported. You're like, well, I've been given a sentence. I'll do my time and I'll do it in a purposeful, positive way. Mm. Try and learn as much from this as possible. Take lessons that I can give back to society from it. That'll be that. But then the home office gets a hold of me and it becomes a battle, right? So you're trying to sort of fix yourself. Rehabilitation begins immediately if you're a responsible person. But at the same time, you've got the Home Office trying to crush you. Who was the then Home Secretary? Theresa May. Right. And what I hadn't realized was that the hostile environment policy had started to kick off. And at exactly the same time as my criminalization process was happening, the hostile environment policy was being implemented. So around the time I got bail in June, July of 2012, the 2012 Immigration Act was released, which made it impossible for anyone who gets a sentence over four years to make an argument that there are compelling reasons to not be deported. When did it start to crystallize that I'm actually in a fair bit of trouble here? Initially, you think, well, I've got I have family and friends here. I've been here for 20 odd years. I feel British. Surely my human rights will protect me, right? That's, so you just fill in all this documentation. Like, and you're going through the motions. Yeah, yeah it's like, fine, it's, I'm not going to get deported. Like, come on. And then in September of 2013, I get sent to Maidstone Prison, which is a foreign national jail that's designed to make your life so horrible, even in prison, totally dystopian, that you choose to deport yourself, okay? So you can imagine this prison of 700 odd men, hopeless place. I shouldn't have been there because I was a super low risk offender, but then the home office starts to manipulate the process. My risk gets increased. Etc. I have to go get the prison and probation ombudsman in to investigate what's happening. Eventually, the prison and probation ombudsman tells the, the prison that they have to send me to an open prison because the Home Office had manipulated the process to keep me there for 14 months. And the reason they do that is to break your family ties and to separate you from your community so that then it's easy to say it's, the deportation is justified.